All right, this is going to be um, a review of the 2014 uh, Little Guy Tag Max uh, travel trailer. Uh, it's functionally, uh, well, in every way, it's the same as the 2015 model. Um, this one was built in uh, very late uh, 2014 and has all the 2015 features. Uh, they announced in November that uh, that all new trailers would have, and I'll go over those as we go. As you can see, I'm towing this with a very small car. Uh, this is a 2011 uh, Mazda Miata MX-5. I've highly modified it, as you can see. I've got better wheels. I've got um, uh, a Flying Miata supercharger in it. Um, I have the uh, Flying Miata um, suspension kit. So this is a pretty highly modified Miata. I've towed uh, teardrop trailers with uh, this car before um, I had the blower put in. It would do it, uh, but with the suspension modifications I've done, uh, it only uh, drops about a half an inch when you put the trailer on it. Uh, the clutch is infinitely better, uh, so it holds speeds, and of course, as I sh I'll show you, it gets really terrific gas mileage. But I like to take this trailer on car rallies and not stay at the hotel and uh, this is one way to do that um, but uh, I think it tows it very well it's very stable uh, and very safe uh, I also have a Ford Escape that I tow this with which is you know no problem whatsoever okay for you that don't believe me I just uh, filled up and went about a let's see how far I went 18 mile loop 28.4 miles a gallon so that was typical. It got up to as high as 34, but once I got up to freeway speeds, and um, of course it dropped. But you can see the size of this thing. You can see um, clearly behind with, with the mirrors without uh, really any extraordinary uh, uh, circumstances there. And um, anywho, anyway. Let's go over the trailer. I'll go over some of the options that uh, come with the tag package, uh, with the max package, and uh, some of the stuff that I've done. Uh, first thing you'll notice is I put this Belterra uh, tube on the uh, the uh, frame of this thing. Uh, I had I like to carry these uh, coil hoses, and um, and uh, there's really no good place to put a wet hose when you're done with it. So. Uh, I got that hose on Amazon. They're water, they're potable water safe, so you can um, you can uh, use it to fill your water tank and, and actually drink from it. It's fully safe. Um, these trailers are pretty uh, plain Jane. Um, it does come with a wheel. As you can see, this wheel attaches under here, um, so when you lift this off the car, uh, you can move the whole trailer around fairly easy. Um, the tongue weight on this is only around 100 pounds. Like I said, it drops uh, uh, the back of the car about a half an inch. It went from uh, measuring the wheel well uh, to the ground. It went from uh, 25 and a quarter down to 24 and three quarters. So that's a half an inch. Anyway, um, when you get the uh, tag, you get this big um, toolbox. It's it's uh, that hard plastic. Uh, you can see I have it stuffed with a whole bunch of stuff, but what it comes with is a Group 24 battery, which you see under here, just um, deep cycle uh, battery. It's not a really expensive one. Your dealer gives you this, uh, and a 20 uh, pound uh, propane bottle. Dealer also gives you this, and he should fill it for you. But as you can see, it's a fairly sizable box. Uh, there's, a f uh, there's a mesh floor in the bottom. Uh, this extends uh, under it, and um, so you can stuff this to the gills. I've got a little folding um, uh, portable um, charcoal grill and uh, extension cord reel and some hoses and uh, probably too many hoses. Uh, an accessory for my, um, my uh, propane fireplace or campfire um, and some grill tools and things like that. But this does lock. So it, it offers you a little security. Somebody's just walking by, can't pop this open and steal your propane bottle or your battery. But if they really wanted it in here, I think they would easily get in there. Um, it comes with um, a solar port wired directly to the battery. Um, this is wired for the ZAMP system. 
Uh, but there are others. You can see I have a pigtail for, um, I have a Go Power satellite, I mean a Go Power uh, solar panel, portable one. So um, I hooked a pigtail for that. But And then um, I changed the polarity of this by just changing positive to negative. And a battery tender junior uh, battery charger, a um, trickle charger, plugs right in there perfectly. Uh, so when I have this home in storage, I just plug that battery charger right in there. Um, of course, it's got aluminum diamond plate. Uh, the construction is the top part, this is aluminum, painted aluminum. And then this is uh, gel coated, well, I guess it's Philian, fiberglass. It's pretty tough stuff. Um, but this is in the style of the bigger trailer they have called the Tab uh, with the color scheme. Uh, but it's just kind of like a miniature version of it in a teardrop form. Um, but it has these nice handles. You can move this around your shop or garage. Uh, it rolls really easy. Um, but you have a variety of colors. I believe there's like blue and orange, gray. Uh, you can get this in white or silver. Um, what else is there? think purple. There's a, go on their website, there's a whole lot of color choices. That's kind of one of the fun things about this type of trailer. All of your, uh, your lights are LED inside and out, and um, that's a really nice thing. Uh, with some cars, they don't like that when you connect uh, to your car wiring, like a Ford, my, my Escape, it, it will flicker and give bulb um, error messages. It considers, uh, it wants some voltage coming back or some resistance, because uh, it thinks that you have regular incandescent bulbs in your trailer. Uh, Fords are funny that way. Uh, the workaround, I discovered, is you just turn the headlights on. And somehow that magically fixes everything and everything works normally. Um, let's see, this sticker tells you uh, they weighed it and it's uh, 1175. Um, that sounds about right. Uh, it's, 1100 to 1200 pounds thereabouts like I said the tongue weight is uh, is uh, 100 pounds and it wants to be 16 inches uh, off the pavement to be level okay uh, you get some nice stripes uh, and you get color-coded uh, fenders you get 13 inch aluminum wheels with class C tires which is more than adequate for this little guy um, you get uh, a locking door on both sides and uh, it's a pretty wide door, and uh, it's got this cool uh, shade feature. You just turn this, and it's built into the window, and gives you uh, privacy. Um, the windows are um, they're either acrylic or Lexan, and they um, they uh, are lockable, of course. As you see, there's little push button locks, but uh, they. Uh, Let's see if I undo all the gizmos. Well, oh, it's double double latched. Anyway, they are dual pane and um, <laughs> they will stay open if you tighten the uh, tighten the screws down. But um, anyway, they're they're double pane to give you this insulation. There's styrofoam insulation in these walls. Uh, so I've taken this on some fairly cold adventures, and uh, it's nice and. Um, comfortable. It doesn't take a lot of heat to um, keep it warm inside uh, because of this. It's so small inside and some people will uh, say your body heat alone will keep it to a comfortable level. But anyway, let's. I'll continue to go around the outside and explain some of the features and, um, and, uh, and then we'll go inside. Exterior features. This is a vent. There's one on each side. Uh, the air conditioning system inside is basically a window unit, a frigid air unit, and there's a blower to make it work more efficiently. It'll blow the exhaust out of the back of the um, uh, the air conditioner out these side vents. I believe these are just like dryer vents from a big RV. Uh, you've got uh, pre-wired for cable, part cable TV, or you can hook a t regular TV antenna. That's what I do. I don't watch much TV when I'm traveling. Uh, it's got a 30 amp uh, power cord. You don't need anywhere near 30 pounds. The old models had uh, just a um, regular 15 amp uh, extension cord, uh, but I guess they figured this is an upgrade. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, got a gravity fill. Oh, got a gravity fill, and um, you just stick a hose down there and fill it until it overflows, and you know you're you're full. This is your uh, inlet for if you have water at the campground. Um, 
this will not fill the uh, water tank, this does. Um, of course, side marker lights. Um, it has these nice, this is one of the things that came with it the, uh, on the 2015 models. There's a uh, crank in these uh, stabilizers, crank down. Uh, you don't want to level the trailer with this, but it'll give it some st stability when you've got it off the vehicle and you don't want it to um, bounce around side to side. If you're sensitive to that, and some people are, uh, you lower these. I rarely will lower these. I just think it's a pain to do that. All right, of course, um, on these, uh, you got the LED tail lights and blinker lights. Um, you have lockable um, kitchenette. You see this, since this is all together, it will, um, it'll drain into here. Um, it's got a 12 gallon onboard uh, water pump, uh, a water tank, and a, an onboard Surflow pump. So um, 11 gallons is a lot. There's no holding tank. You can either dump it on the ground where it's allowed, or you can get one of those uh, green totes, put it under there, and uh, uh, right under this sink, this drain is basically a straight piece of plastic pipe that goes right down through the bottom of the RV. Um, you turn the pump on, it's battery operated, you hear it, and there's probably no water in, in there. Yeah, I don't have any water in the tank. I was testing the uh, to make sure it was the 11 gallons or 12 gallons, which it is. I tested that. Anyway, it comes with this nice, um, they say this isn't a cutting board, they call it a sink cover. And it's a soft wood. I don't know if you'd want to cut on it. I'm not going to cut on it. Um, okay, cabinet. One thing about this model is it is one big open space. So basically what I did was build this little shelving system. I went up to Lowe's and got um, some birch wood. And I made this uh, little partition thing to put all my silverware and my plates and cups and things. And I made this shelf. Um, so I'd have some segregated storage so um, I could carry more with me. Um, but you can see in the back here, that's where the water pump is. I made this so you can remove it. But I mean, you get a $5 miter saw and maybe $20 worth of wood and you can make all kinds of things in here. But uh, there's still room for a lot of things. I got this um, baggy thing I stuck on here. And I got this uh, rack for the knives. It just sticks on there. Um, and then I stuck this uh, on the heat shield. I stuck this uh, towel holder. So I'd have a place to hang a towel. So anyway, just some of my silliness. But um, it's a lot more useful if you do this mod. And I think when you're in the teardrop world, you got to plan on doing some mods. Uh, everybody mods their trailers. Um, one of the neat things about the Max package, you also get this um, big refrigerator. And it's on this this, uh, this slide, which is nice. It keeps it out of the way. You don't have to hoist it and lift it and put it in the car and carry it back. Plus, weight distribution-wise, this is great because it's in the back behind the rear axle. It makes it so you don't have a heavy tongue weight. Uh, there's a little bit of storage. I've put a few flat things under there. But you can see I've set it to 50, I think it's saying it's 57 degrees. Um, what do I have? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I do have the sensor on it. And it's saying it's uh, 59 in there. I just turned it on about half an hour ago. So it's starting to cool down. Um, it's pretty deep. It has this... Um, this basket you can uh, partition and you can carry this in the house, fill up your stuff and bring it out to where the trailer is and just drop it in. This is the freezer section. It'll get more cold in here than it'll get in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. There's a power switch here. You can set there's a fail safe. Uh, what voltage it'll shut itself off. This is 11.6 volts, which in my opinion is rather low. You're going to kill your battery doing that. But anyway. Uh, when you're going down the road, your car, your car wiring should be um, charging the battery just through the trailer wiring connection. Uh, you could set up other modes of of uh, charging that, so this wouldn't drain your house battery. But I haven't had any trouble with it. You can go pretty much a day or two on that uh, just little Group Four battery. Um, okay, you get a um, Formica countertop, which is nice, easy cleanup. And there's some hooks, and there's another bin. There's two bins on each side. Um, I stuck a paper towel holder up with some 3M tape. Uh, you get a light. 
LED light, of course, so when you're cooking at night. Um, you get a 12 volt connector up here, and there's one down below, and then there's a 110 volt for if you get shore power. Uh, I like to use these um, little LED voltage meters. You can see my battery says it's at 12.5, uh, which still has a good bit of charge left in it. Um, okay, like, like I said, you can, uh, you can secure the doors here and uh, lock it up. Um, on the other side, again, we have another vent, another window, and of course, another door. All right, let's go inside and show you the rest. Um, okay, it's rather dark in here, but you got a full uh, LED 12 volt. 19-inch uh, TV. It's a Jensen, and then it's got a Jensen audio system. This one doesn't have the Bluetooth, uh, I'm afraid, um, but uh, that's okay. You can get an attachment for that. Um, of course, you got the 110 uh, hookup for the uh, for the uh, air conditioner. That's a switch to um, to uh, turn that blower on that I was telling you about. Of course, you got standard Frigidaire air conditioner unit. Then you've got a power center. It's got a 12 volt jack and uh, with USB ports to charge your phone. Uh, you can see next to that I've got one of those little uh, uh, 110 volt uh, electric heaters. It's perfect. It's like 300 watts. It'll heat this up it's too hot, you know, to be comfortable if you really wanted to. But you can set the temperature on that. I got that on Amazon as well. Uh, that's your fuse panel. It's got your 12 volt fuses and uh, your 110 volt fuses. Uh, we got two cabinets that are fairly deep. Well, they may be uh, six, eight inches deep. You can see from that the scale from that roll of toilet paper. But it's enough to hold some towels and a shaving kit and some things. Um, maybe not to his. And um, over here maybe is a hers. Uh, yep, that's because it's empty in my case. Um, anyway, so you got two cabinets. Um, like I said, this is a queen size mattress. It's uh, I put regular bedding on it, but you can use one of those uh, sleeping bags or whatever. It's about I don't know three and a half, four inches thick. Uh, in the front here, you have this more or less a headboard, and then you have um, you have this uh, panel. And that's all it is is a panel sitting here, and it's got a um, it got a hole in it, so you can. Uh, I got a lantern sits up there perfectly. Anyway, you um, have some storage in here. It's rather deep, and uh, I put a lot of odds and ends in here. Uh, stuff you don't want to get too much, but um, you know, it's convenient to have um, storage. And uh, let's see, let's put that back. You have uh, um, what else? Oh, you have these cool reading lights. Um, they come on and then I forget what you do. Oh yeah, you can um, change them from blue to white. Yeah, you hold the button down and uh, they're brighter. Or you can have you can have uh, gosh Ron, it would be better if you knew how to do things. There you go. Anyway, but you have a day or night. You have a um, cup holder on each side. And then you have this um, bin above. It has, um, you can put some soft things in there, flashlight, things you need to grab quick, I would suppose. Um, of course, you have speakers and uh, you have, uh, I put a couple of these uh, command hooks that have some uh, place to hang some clothing. Um, you have interior and exterior lights. These are LED, of course. And you have this great, um, fantastic fan. You uh, think you all know how these work, but it's uh, in or out. And uh, they keep it pretty cool in here with the windows open and good breeze going. Um, so if you're boondocking without electricity, you can run this fan for quite a while on the battery pack. Um, all right, what else we got? Um, storage underneath has two has two long 
compartments uh, to store odds and ends. And what do I keep in here? I keep like chairs, extra shoes, and all kinds of things. Uh, but you can tell it's really long. Uh, but it is only about four inches deep, so it can be limiting. And uh, I'll show you on the other side. Um, I'll show you on the other side. It's pretty much the same. Uh, I keep some folding tables in there and some extra pigtails for my solar setup and things like that. But uh, but it's good storage. I find that um, maybe my stuff. Um, I wouldn't put things down in there, like I said, that you're going to need to get into and out of multiple times during the day. I think I just put my, what I do is put my uh, things to set up my camp, uh, like folding tables, chairs, things like that, the stuff for the dog, um, so that I'm in there at the beginning of the trip or the stay, and then I have to put it back in there on, on my way out. So I think it's just too inconvenient. It needs some prop rods to hold these, uh, these uh, panels up. Um, it is hinged. They're not going to come off in your hand. There's a piano hinge that runs down the center of the bed uh, that um, that uh, holds it together. It's a plastic piano hinge. It's not all that great, but it seems to work pretty good and seems to hold up well enough anyway. Um, so like I said, um, it's good storage in there. That's a 2014 feature. In 2013 they didn't have it. It was just a little higher inside. Um, that's one thing I didn't mention is how high it is. Um, I can sit up fine in the bed, uh, and I still have about a foot over my head, uh, sitting straight up. Um, uh, this shelf, you know, you can lean back here with a pillow. That's what I got this for. Um, I think it's adequate. I'm 5'10", so, um, but if you were like 6'5 and above, you might want to really sit in one of these before you commit to it because, I mean, it's not, you know, it's, it's only so much to work with. I believe it's, I believe it's 40 inches. But uh, don't hold me to that. Um, another thing I got in here was um, I stuck up a weather station. Uh, this is a wall covering. I don't. It's like a vinyl paper. Uh, you can paint this if you don't like this color. If you want to have your own custom color, but it seems to stick. Things stick real well to it without it coming loose. So um, anyway, let's see inside. Um, I bought this at Holiday on Wheels down in Columbia, South Carolina. They're good folks. They carry a lot of teardrops of various sizes, and and uh, I found that they were really easy to deal with and, and took care of me. Um, I haven't had to go back, of course, because nothing ever fails on these things. Um, but, um, yeah, my experience with teardrops and Little Guy products has been very good. Um, so I do recommend them. Um, Anyway, this is my review of the 2014 slash 2015 Little Guy Tag Max. Um, I hope it's answered any of your questions. I appreciate your viewing. Uh, if you have any further questions or need any more information, please leave me a comment uh, below and a thumbs up, please. And uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.